<clears throat> so guys we go again today welcome back to my channel this is Mazi Ojoto telling you guys that I love you deep down from deep down of my, uh, no, from from the depth of my heart oh yes <laughs> so guys thank you very much once again for always supporting me always your commenting the likes the subscription like it means a lot to me so today I just wanted to say a big shout out to someone like um, focused heart yeah his name is focused heart he's a youtuber as well yeah he's always focused like now, my brother, thank you very much for always supporting me, both here and as well as on Facebook. And also another one again is um she's a Kenyan, um, Majestic Margaret. Yeah, she's always commenting on every of my posts on Instagram. Although I'm not always on Instagram, but I just link my Instagram with my Facebook. So once I post on Facebook, it will link to the Instagram. So she's always commenting like it means a lot to me as well. Thank you very much, Majestic Margaret. And as well as Praise Crew or something, I've forgotten the name. And as well as my Hausa brother, uh, goes by the name Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Thank you very much very much my brother sanu in house abi sanu sanu right yeah that's sanu so thank you guys that is for the ones for today so tomorrow and next so i'll keep on mentioning each and every one of you guys you know as per you understand so you guys mean a lot to me so today i just wanted to discuss this topic because it has um become a trend like it has become a custom yeah like a tradition to most of us the africans and not just africans like even other people from different different nationality they're also doing the same i've you know come to learn that as well yeah so this um will i say act it's you know it's 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 really crazy to be honest with you guys so this is it when someone will travel from his own country his or her own home country to abroad abroad can be anywhere as long as it's not in your country yeah it can be from nigeria to ghana from nigeria to sierra leone to liberia to to South Principe and South Tome. It can be anywhere. It can be to Dubai, any part of the world, as long as you're not in your country. So you are outside, you are in diaspora. So the next thing, everyone will, ha you will start having these huge expectations on you that, you know, once you, you know, you've struggled and moved out, out, outside your country, or your comfort zone, that everything are now has become so comfortable, so okay with you. So that's why most of them go to the extent of um asking you with authority to give them money no no you know like that's different between begging when someone is begging like hey my brother please can i just have um ten thousand naira from you please i will give you maybe by by end of the month or by second week of the month stuff like that you know that is begging and that's different between this one now and with my brother, ha, <laughs> you know, say you with us not be the same anymore now. You should understand that. Ah, you don't have brought now. Ah, even if it's uh, 10,000 naira, send us now. Ah, you know you're bigger than that now. You see that statement? You know you are bigger than that. Come on, I'm not bigger than 10k. Excuse me. Yeah. So you see that problem now? It has happened to me personally. Even most, like, sometimes, like, to, 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 to be honest with you, most of my, like, some couple of my sisters, because I have gotten six of them, my sisters. Yeah. So this of my sisters. Sometimes it's difficult for me to explain to them that I don't have common 5,000 Naira in my account. You know, like, the, it's difficult for them to believe me. It's only one of my sister in Kiru. She's the only one that believes me. Apart from her, the rest, never. And also our eldest sister. Yeah, she also understands sometimes. But the rest of them, never. Even my younger brother, never. I have money. I have Mazu Jodo. Mazu Jodo. <laughs> Even to the extent that even around here that I'm staying, like here in Georgia, sometimes when I would not, when I would not have money to, to feed the family, to be honest. Come on, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, like, I don't even know who to ask for, to be honest with you. Because everyone out there sees me as a boss, that I, I have enough. You understand that point now? Which I'm knowing that, yes, I have. But doesn't mean that I, I cannot go broke someday sometimes come on so i'm saying this because i know most of you guys must have encountered this situation yeah so this is it i'm telling you all back home wherever you are no matter the country it, once you have this mentality my brother you need you need deliverance hey this girl can you allow me to do my stuff Biko? hey <laughs> yeah, so so this is the problem this is, I, I hope you two will not uh, block me with this voice, like Odine Chuku, my daughter. So guys, so this is the problem, most times. Yeah, this is the issue. People out there, people back home in our countries, 
Things that we have enough. Once you are in abroad, hey, God, don't butter your bread. Yes, God has buttered uh, you know, our bread. But come on. Sometimes even those back home, they might even be richer. Way too richer than they, I mean, you know, you know, the ones in abroad, the ones in diaspora. So this is how it goes. For the, for the fact that someone based in abroad doesn't mean that this person is rich. That he, you know, he, he can, you know, as he can't go, like he can't go broke. It's not possible. Remember, most of those of us that's based in abroad, that stays outside the country, most of us, like, like most of us are working class people. You know, that depends on salary. That, you know, that's why sometimes when you ask most of your brothers outside the country, or most of your sisters, they will be like, okay, it's fine. By end of the month, I will see what I can do. Believe them. Don't pressure them. Don't keep on calling them. Keep on messaging them. Hey, my brother, I remember what you promised me. Hey, come on. Most people depend on salary. Yeah. Not everyone has side hustling. Not everyone is a Yahoo boy. Excuse me. So you should understand that. When they tell you, please, wait until the end of the month. Wait. Don't pressure them. Don't push them. Things are not easy with everyone. People have their problems they are battling with. Be it you are in abroad or you are back home. There are many people that are based in Nigeria that are way better than people that are based in abroad. If you don't know this, know it today. Yeah. So when they told you they have problems, they are not really okay now to assist. Believe them. Understand them. They are humans like you and me. Yeah. For the fact that I gave you, okay, let's assume, for the fact that I gave you 50,000 Naira today, doesn't mean like tomorrow I will not borrow someone 5,000 Naira. Yeah. So this is how it goes. Yeah. This place, okay, let's assume, like, okay, let's say, let me just use an example of this country. UAE is land of opportunity, to be honest with you. It's like Lagos. Anything can happen within a minute. Yeah. You can be walking down, down there, and you will meet someone that will just change your life for good. Might give you a better job or something like, like that. So it happens. It's like Lagos, home of opportunities. So that is it. So, but that doesn't mean that someone will not stay for a whole week in this country without money. It's possible. So when someone tells you, please, bro or sister or mama or papa, I beg I don't have anything now, but I believe by end of the month or by next month, I might get something. Believe them. Don't push them. Yeah. You know, sometimes pressure from home is still one of the things that are, you know, killing our, our youth outside the country. Yeah. For them to meet up. They are trying to meet up. You know, they are trying, you know, so that, uh, they, you know, shame no go kill them. May shame no kill you. Me, personally, whether you talk, you know, I doesn't consider it's not my business. I have family to, to, get, to, to take care of. As simple as ABC. I don't lost my mama. I don't lost my papa. Only, only my sisters. If I tell them they no one here, I go block them. I said I do my own. If I have money, I go block them. I go send to them. I go block them again. But it's me. It's my life. I have my family. You understand? So that is life. So you all in abroad should understand this. You should understand. Don't let pressure from home. Make them push, even though you are here, you're a husband, you're, you're, and your wife is in Nigeria or any part of the world, and she's pressuring you with the same method. My brother, if possible, block her. Make them not go kill you. Come on. See, too much thinking about, you know, things happening back home can actually kill you if you don't know. Yeah. I have, see, I've seen a guy, he's an Ugandan. He actually died there. That was 2013 when I was working with a company called Securitas, my first security company then. My, no, my first job in this country. Yeah, the guy died in the washroom when he wanted to do a, go and take shower because we were supposed to go for morning shift that day. So we all went to take shower together, you know, in our different bathrooms. So he went and I, I went there. I was just next to him, to be honest. The guy fell down and died. Nothing killed him, nothing. You know what happened? Tension. Tension, problem, hypertension. Tension from whom? I think he has two wives, I'll be three wives or something. I'll be children or something. Tension. So don't go die of tension. No? Don't go die of problems of home. You see problems from your home country will never finish. It can never finish. So solve the little one you can be able to solve and leave the rest to. That is it. That is me. That is me. That is me. That's why I do. I literally say, spent everything I have. Because of my late mom. But anyway, that is by the way. But come on, I need to tell you guys. Yeah. Because I'm this kind of person that, doesn't, you know, I don't really have that strong heart. Then. Yeah. I used to sense my, my, yeah, my picking. Sense Sense Headache. Sense I need to go and sense uh, We're going for burial tomorrow. Sense uh, Okay. Ah, uh, this person died. You need to go and do a uh, condolence visit. That's why they sent. Send, 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 send. Nothing remain. So you see the thing now. You see the thing. And the worst thing is that 
People from home, we never value that small. That is the worst thing about people from home. They never value that small, small money like 5-5k you are sending every month or 10-10k. No. Until when you give them 1 million in a bank, that is when they will now know that, ah, you have given us money. So you should, you all should learn from some people, someone else mistakes. So to avoid not to, you know, get tension and die of hypertension because of problems from home. So that is that, guys. I don't really have much to say apart from this. So thank you very much and do have a lovely night. Bye.